Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Stone Cold Video Game Nerd, and it was uploaded by Irate Gamer, and the name of this video is Super Mario Bros. 2, the NES Scandal of SMB2 and Doki Doki Panic Nintendo Review Season 1 Episode 8, Irate Gamer. Okay, let's check it out. Yay! All right, here we go. Created by Chris Borders. All right, man. Almost looks like a, kind of like an opening to the Angry Video Game Nerd, but he's the irate gamer. All right. This is some really Mario old is perhaps ones. one of the most recognized video game icons of all time. Yeah, and that could be right there. Because they package each Nintendo it's system. Like my first with Nintendo the game, games. Super Mario Brothers. It was my first Nintendo it game. It became one of the most popular games on the NES, spawning many sequels released in the following years. Hell yeah, man! But when you line up Duck all the Hunt, Super Mario games in order, I've had all one those. of them just sticks out like a sore well, thumb. Never mind. And that Super game Nintendo is Super for... Mario Brothers Two. I played it. Now I know what you're thinking that I'm going to sit here and attack Super Mario Two. Well, before you start sending your hate mail, just hear me out. No, I don't really hate Mario 2. It's Doki Doki 2 originally, games, whatever. This game just has ass written all over it. I wouldn't say First it's complete off, there's ass. There's nothing remotely familiar in this game that was included in the previous ones. Yeah, there's it's no different. Coin boxes, no Goombas, no Turtles. That's, that's right. Worst of all, the ending boss isn't even King Koopa. You Instead, we are treated to a whole new cast of goofy and oddball well, characters. Um, things like Sniffets, Shy Guys, and Babams. This game does and piss me off, though. the real shocker is that the villain of the previous game has now been replaced by a fat frog named War. Fucking frog. This makes frog. no sense whatsoever. And it's a goddamn dream. Now, when you start this game, you'll have the choice of picking between four different characters, all with their own special abilities. Yeah, yeah. Mario is the regular fighter. Luigi is the high jumper. You get them Princess jumps. Peach can hover in the air for extended periods of yeah, time. Yeah, I treated using and her. And Toadstool? Well, he's pretty much worthless. Yeah, he's a bitch. Once you select your player, it's time to start the game. And you do so by falling from a door in the sky. Exactly yeah. how a door got up there in the first place is way beyond me. But once I already you know, man. I already know the answer. You'll the gameplay has been totally altered. First, they did away with the ability to smash your enemies. Damn, I missed this. Instead, you'll have to pick them up and toss them at other it's enemies. It's because it's not really a Mario them. game. Secondly, you all know this the game history is only a one-player game. It's totally different from the original, probably which mention you can it. play two players. Is that a clown? Play? Sorry, man. This is just a one-player game. Well, that sucks. Oh, yeah, because the first one was two-player. Another two thing that player. just pisses me off is the game starts you off with a two-heart health meter. Yeah, that's bullshit. And every bullshit. time you get hurt, they take away an entire heart. Uh, now, well, I wouldn't mind this so much, first one you get but hit they make once. it very hard to replenish your health. In the first Mario Brothers game, it was really simple. All you had to do was just pound away at coin boxes until you ended up finding a mushroom. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. When you get well, a mushroom, you can take game, a hit. They decided to make things much harder. It's only after you kill a certain amount of enemies that a heart will float up from the bottom of the screen. Well, big fucking whoop. I don't Doing think this, this game's that hard. Stupid. You probably just suck at it. And remember that invincibility star? Well, now this yeah, game is hard. Much fucked that whole thing up too. Instead of now finding the star, you'll have to go around and collect five cherries that are scattered oh, around shit. the level. And after you've collected that fifth cherry, you gotta wait for it. A cherry. There comes that star. Oh, look at this shit. Could it move any slower? I can take a shit faster than this. What about, uh, eight row kill skunk? Why don't you say that? That is pretty slow, though. Man, that sucks. Ain't that way to speed that up? There you go. Finally! And while we're at it, this game could really use a lot more power-ups, too. Some spots of this game are so overcrowded with enemies, it's insane. Yeah, there are but some luckily, hard there levels are now. Some places in this game you can hide so enemies can't get to you. I beat this game before I oh, you know, the first on. one. Oh, come on! He walked right through the fucking cactus! You know, shit like this that just shit. makes me go from zero to pissed off in 2.5 seconds. This sounds familiar. Maybe it's just me. 
Now, once you reach the yes. ending of the level, I was you're expecting usually greeted by this big, dopey pink bird that shoots eggs at you. Be careful the about that flying, The first one you come to is pretty easy to kill, but you'll meet a lot more of them as the game advances, That's like and Betsy they become Buns harder and harder to defeat. During the course of this game, you'll end up fighting over 15 of these fucking birds, and yeah, I swear that's by the lazy. end, I just want to reach through the screen and beat the shit out of this bitch. Get over what? here! I can do that too. At the end of the game, you'll finally meet up with the last boss, Wart, who ends up just Wart. really being a pushover. All you have to do is throw vegetables at him when his mouth is open, and I'll choke on him and die. Mouth. And yet again, giving kids another reason not to eat their vegetables. Oh, really? I don't After think that's winning, what that was. After winning, the game then switches over to Mario, who is in bed. And it turns out that he has just been dreaming up this entire game. That's a slap to the face to Mario you know, fans. I wish I was dreaming up this entire game, because it fucking sucks. Compared to the other Mario games, this one's it the does. worst one of the bunch. Now, if you think this review is over, then think again. Because a few years later, Nintendo this is the released one I a game played. called Super Mario All-Stars for the SNES. I played Mario 2 on this, this was and a beat collection it. of all the Super Mario titles for the NES, which included giving them new backgrounds and music upgrades. Way better. These games were Mario 1, 2, <coughs> 3, and, lost and a levels. bonus game called Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. Yeah. Lost Levels? Wait a it's, minute. It's uh, supposed there are lost to be the actual levels? Mario 2. Where on earth did they find these things? It's a and story about how exactly you, did they become lost in the first place? Explain it, man, if you know. Well, the title is very misleading because after doing some research, it turns out that this game is in fact the real Super Mario Bros. 2. That's right. Released only in Japan, you said it, this I game have continues it. where the first one left off. All the same enemies, power-up items. Too hard. Even Too the hard maps the look the same. And that's why they this put the other right one out. This game right here is the perfect predecessor to the first Mario game. It's shit, though. But with that it's being too said, hard. we are now left with the problem here. If this was the original Mario 2, then where the hell did our Mario 2 come from? I mean, Doki, games Doki, like this Pat, just don't whatever appear call out it. in air. What the hell? This mystery is very confusing, but we must get to the bottom of it. Well, you already and know. And after doing even more research, I found something that is guaranteed to flip some shit. Oh, damn. Years earlier, a game was released called Doki Doki Panic. Yep. It started off with two kids getting pulled into a book by a green hand, and the heroes of the game going in after them. Green hand. Now, the introduction may not look familiar, but once you start the game, you will be amazed. You'll know. Mario 2. Holy shit! Same music and enemies. This looks familiar. In fact, it's the exact same game. Yep. And we're not just talking they about just copying Mario layout of the levels. It. Everything has been stolen. The enemies, the music, power-ups. Wow, that's just everything. pathetic. If you compare both these games side by side, you'll see really, it's the exact same video game. I can't say this is uh, Mario 2 unfucking anymore. Unfucking believable. Even the characters Every, in this game have everything. the exact same abilities as the characters in Mario 2. I mean, look. Here's Mario. <laughs> Luigi. Kind of. Princess. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, even the worthless Toad. That's some bullshit. Now, I will give them the benefit of the doubt, because they did change and upgrade a few things from the original. Not much. Like, instead of turtle shells, you pull out weird-looking heads. Well, and of the course, water flows yeah, a lot faster in this game than the Mario clone. <sighs> but even with that, that being pure said, laziness, what man. the fuck? These two games shouldn't have anything in common. You might as well say it's a ROM hack. It's unclear as the to fuck? why they copied it in the first place. But many have speculated that the real Mario 2 game was just too much like the first one. And too hard. And I guess that's understandable, because having two of the same thing could get stale Why and repetitive. Why is there two of you? Yep, is that stale your twin? and repetitive. Wearing the same clothes, too. Now, I was never a big fan Clone. of Super Mario 2, but a few years ago, they released it again, and this time for the Game Boy Advance. Didn't play that one, or Super maybe Mario I emulated it and seen it. Super Mario a complete makeover, and the end result is amazing. Huh. You got sounds. I can honestly say that for the first time, this truly feels like a Mario game. Well, I never got to really witness it. They made it for the they wrong totally fucking console, too. totally levels. Fucking handheld. Included a lot more power-ups. Mixed Jump. it with some interesting enemies. Enemies, too. And now finding hearts to replenish your health is so much easier. Wow. So, now that we have the newer version, we can now destroy the original. That's exactly what I was thinking. What the fuck? What the hell you think you're doing? Face it, your reviews suck. I'm taking over and destroying the original. But you can't do that. You just showed <laughs> just up beside me. Time for some flower power. That's not flower power. What? 
I Ooh. fucked up. And that was a close one. And so that, meanwhile, Miles under the earth. What the fuck? Hell. And that's where he went? Where am I? Well, well. Looks like I have another minion to torture. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm scared. I'm getting you for this. Ah! Uh, what? So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.